Okay, hi, Joe Bloggs here, number five. So the question I have here, just a quick one, this is DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness, D-O-M-S. What is DOMS and is it actually a good thing, was the question. Um, it is a good thing. Uh, it depends how you look at it, I suppose. It's pain, it hurts. How can that ever be a good thing? But what I'm saying is it's normal. If you do not suffer from any form of post-training pain, I would wager one or two things. Either you haven't challenged yourself at all, you've just done a little bit of mild exercise, you certainly haven't been training, you haven't, you haven't pushed your boundaries in any way, you've not really challenged yourself, or, well done, you're super fit. What you've done hasn't, because um, you're nice and fit and conditioned, you have good fitness and muscular conditioning, the exercise that you did, or the training and movement you did, did not challenge you to the point of uh, causing that, that pain. Um, pretty much though, if you're suffering from bad DOMS, it's just a case of lack of conditioning, or well done, you've smashed it. It's the severity of the pain that's the issue. In the beginning, you will feel a lot of pain. It is just your body overreacting to the, the stress of the muscle tissue being ripped up and um, taken to its extreme. Uh, you, your body does very quickly adapt to it. You'll find if you were to do the same movements to the same intensity, by the third time of doing that third session with a full repair in between, you'll probably be reduced instead to that crippling pain that's difficult to even sit down on the toilet or you know get out of bed to just a mild dull ache that you weirdly start to enjoy and love. And it becomes the affirmation of a good training session and a lack of laziness. Um, so the things to be aware of, I would say though, is, is um, injury or DOMS. There's a difference there. And it's relatively easy to tell. What you're looking for is if you are feeling the pain during your exercise, i.e. during the movement perhaps, and then when you stop the movement, that pain slowly subsides and dies down a little bit, then that's good, that's just normal DOMS, that's normal fatigue and uh, normal the burn, okay? If, however, you when you stop, that pain increases and um, continues to get worse, that's an injury. That's when you need to stop what you're doing and uh, stop the ego, don't fight through it. It's not something you should be fighting through, that's a proper injury. Uh, you've gone too far and you need to seek rest and medical assistance probably. Uh, immediate thing to do is icing. You want to be icing anything for about 24 hours maximum or certainly until you go to bed I would say and then in the morning or after that 24 hour period you want the heat. It's the heat that repairs you not the cold. Cold causes you to contract up. All the cold is doing is trying to limit your body's overreaction to trauma which is to um, swell up pumping synovial fluid around the injured area. Uh, a bit like bubble wrap to protect it from further damage and injury. But the problem with that, too much inflammation can uh, sort of become a negative factor. You want warmth so your body can relax and start to repair and do the repair process. And it needs to be a good deep heat as well. The old heat pads you get, it's not going to cut it. You need things like a hot water bottle to permeate deep through the skin into the muscle depth of the muscle itself. Um, or those little lavender sacks you can put in the microwave, they're pretty good as well. Um, but those little sort of heat pads I've seen people use before, it just does. It's not hot enough, it's not warm enough, it doesn't get, doesn't permeate deep enough into the muscle to actually get the benefit you're after out of it. So yeah, normal pain though, DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, completely normal. Um, f you're looking at maximum in the beginning if you are complete basic, not really done anything, or certainly not challenged yourself properly to fatigue, then you're going to expect to suffer badly for, it could be even a bit of a week. Uh, you know, I've felt it be eight days before, before you're completely fine. Um, when you're nice and conditioned, so I'd say five or six sessions into it, You'll feel DOMS 24 to 48 hours afterwards is quite normal. Usually going over 24, near the 48 hours is an indication of bad times ahead. Whenever I've gone 24 hours, I'm still not really feeling it. I start to get a little bit worried thinking, uh oh, there's pain seriously coming. It tends to be a little bit worse if you're hitting it 40 day, 48 hours afterwards. 
But if you're nice in condition, it will subside three days, three to four days. If your diet's good and your sleep's good, of course. The main contributing factors to healing quickly is uh, diet and sleep. Now, what can you do to speed up DOMS, the repair? Um, quite simply, nothing is the, the proven time and time again on actual real studies of this. Um, Harvard Medical have done some really great studies on this. And um, the simple answer is there's nothing you can do for it. The pain is there because your muscle tissue is repairing. Um, and again, it's the same, I'm saying pain here for all, but we're talking about whether you are newbie to it or even when you're conditioned. And maybe that pain is more of just a dull ache, but you cannot speed up that dull ache unless you're gonna go down the drugs side of things, which I'm certainly not gonna advocate here on this forum um, or in any other. Um, you can do some things to sort of mask that pain. You can um, sort of add cath, cath, what's the word? Cathartic, cathartic. Brain's gone, forget that word. Um, so one thing about it is obviously your painkillers, your anti-inflammatories, your uh, paracetamols, ibuprofens, those sorts of things can certainly mask that pain. It's not gonna speed up the recovery, to do that, you're looking at good sleep and diet. It's the only thing you can do. You can ensure that you repair at the optimal rate uh, that your body can repair at, but think about it like this. You have, let's say, metaphorically speaking, let's say your muscle tissue is a wall and it's broken down. If you've got three brickies building that wall back up again, then they can build as quickly as they can. How, can, how quickly can they build? Depends if there's a good supply of bricks and mortar. So that's your nutrition. Um, if you are feeding yourself well, then there's an ample supply of bricks and an ample supply of mortar. The brickies can build that wall as fast as they can possibly build. Um, think about drugs and steroids as like adding more brickies in. So now instead of three brickies, you've got like six brickies. So that's how that could, if you were to do that, speed up. But there's a whole other network that we're going to. Um, your sleep, however, is like brickies working optimally or then being a bit lazy having too many breaks sitting around because they're tired um, sleep is massively important because your body uh, produces growth hormone and releases growth hormone shall i say when you go to sleep particularly in your deep sleep it's not particularly it's when you go into deep sleep which i believe is the phase four of your sleep cycle um, you go into deep sleep, so that's REM phase, your rapid eye movement, where you go into deep sleep, you start dreaming, that's when your body releases growth hormone. So with the release of growth hormone, you then have the ability to start repairing up that muscle tissue. So if you're having some broken sleeps and not much sleep at all, whether it be you're stressed out or just don't have the time, then expect to see your repair time slow. And if you're not feeding yourself regularly and correctly, correctly we'll talk about it in another video, um, but if you're not doing that correctly, and again, expect to see things slow down. But to speed things up, no, it is what it is, your body will repair. So enjoy, deal with it. Um, cathartic, that was the word, cathartic nature. So we're looking at massages, whether it would be self-myofascial release, so um, your foam rolling, or just a nice damn good massage. You don't need to go down the road of being beaten up and doing deep tissue massages, just a nice Swedish massage, just something touching you up, rubbing you up, making you feel nice. So all you do is just alleviating the pain by adding something pleasant into it, really. No different to bashing yourself and having a nice little rub. Ah, oh, cuddle with daddy, all right? Um, I'd expect three to four days and then you're fine to go again. So um, training regularity, I'm gonna do that in the next video and that will be looking at answering that question is okay so if the doms have healed up your repair and you're good to go again are you then okay to start your training should you train during doms we'll go into those sorts of things but for now nice question answered good question thanks very much jim blogs signing out